I'm currently making this uh, electrics panel for my CNC mill. I've drawn it up in CAD and produced a 2D drawing. Uh, from there I've actually uh, brought it into Corel Draw. You can see it here and I'm just about to print it out on the Versa laser over here. So let's check it out. Here we have the finished product. It's, it's turned out pretty well. I was so happy with it that I actually made a second one and made this one out of uh, Kermit Green. But look, we'll see which one I go with yet. I haven't made my mind up. I'm just about to use the MDX40 to make a sign to go on the front of my milling cupboard. Uh, let's see it in action here. Well, as you can see, I've been doing the wiring here on the uh, CNC conversion. I've got the breakout board. It's wired up to the digital drivers. The digital drivers are wired up to the 48 volt Keeling uh, power supply. I've used a old computer transformer to power up the uh, two big thermo fans at the front, and also to power the board. At the moment, I'm mounting everything to the panel. And I'm just cutting it into the side of my milling machine just now. That's a little bit too, hold, too hard to hold the camera and shoot at the same time. So what I've done is just use an angle grinder and a drill and cut my way through. And we're nearly there. There we have it. Well, it's all back together. Um, I've got all the, ele the electronics in. It's all working. I've tested it. I thought I'd do this uh, last video, which is part four now, to uh, complete it. As you can see, I've done all the wiring. I've tried to do it fairly neat. Excuse my camera jumping all around the place. Uh, as you know, I predominantly film with uh, iPhone, so it's not the best, but look, it's all right. That's the actual control panel that you would have seen me making earlier. Uh, works and everything like that. I'll just open up the cupboard and show you inside the cupboard. So it's all fairly neat and tidy in there. I'll turn it on so you can hear those fans kick in. Just reset the e-stop. And it's alive. We'll shut this cupboard. I've uh, dialed in Mark III. It's not the bit, you know, it's not a hundred percent yet because I haven't tuned it the motors properly and everything, but we'll just reset it. And we'll move the X. It is moving there. Move the Y. It's fairly quiet. Um, the motors aren't, you know, that noisy. They're, they're not getting hot or warm. I'm only jogging at 500 millimeters per minute at the moment. Z. Okay, I'll um, push go to zero and let's see what happens. Right, last but not least, let's uh, check the spindle motor. Um, I had to uh, put a new lead on this, it would, had came with a Chinese plug. 
So we'll turn him on. Okay, let's turn the machine off and see if the Z will hold up. I've been a little bit worried the Z will creak down, but uh, look, we'll just uh, play it by ear and see how it goes. So if I just turn off, and the Z is creeping down a little bit, but it dropped probably about 10 mil there. I don't know if you saw it. Alrighty, guys, um, look, thanks for sticking with me. Feel free to ask, comments, and subscribe. Cheers.